dear students uh, in this unit we will uh, study about the prokaryotes which are the simplest and earliest life form on earth as you are all aware that uh, prokaryotic prokaryotes are the simplest and single celled organisms uh, which uh, lack uh, a, a defined nucleus and membrane bound uh, organelles as you are aware that uh, uh, the more advanced organisms are eukaryotes as compared to prokaryotes in which we have a very well defined nucleus and the membrane bounded uh, organelles but prokaryotes they were the earliest to uh, inhabit this planet earth if we are talking about uh, uh, three to four billion years ago three to four billion years ago uh, they were the first organisms that appeared on this planet earth and uh, they existed till now for the billion of years and uh, as you are all aware uh, different examples that includes we we could say that bacteria is one of the fine example of these prokaryotes if you see these uh, prokaryotes their structure is so simple and you can see that they don't have a well defined nucleus rather their chromosome or their dna is direct, directly resides inside their cytoplasm so this gives them a very simple structure and uh, to some extent the advantages to better adapt over the course of billion years now uh, when we talk about the prokaryotes the two examples which are uh, uh, very different from each other uh, in their uh, in their habitat those are bacteria and archaea bacteria are the uh, prokaryotic organisms which uh, you can see you can um, uh, find they are living uh, in the land in the uh, oceans in the ponds everywhere uh, the difference between prokaryotes uh, the bacteria and archaea is that archaea they tend to live to the extreme harsh environments while the bacteria they live around us uh, many of them they are uh, uh, they are uh, called as the pathogens which uh, uh, cause different diseases in humans but uh, when we talk about the different species of uh, bacteria they are very small part of it very small part of bacteria they are able to develop uh, they infect people individuals uh, different organisms and uh, they uh, they results in the spread of different diseases uh, but uh, most of the bacteria they are very beneficial uh, for the mankind including uh, they are they are responsible for the recycling of different nutrients in this planet earth and thus they help in uh, the functioning smooth functioning of ecosystems uh, when we talk about the early bacteria when they originated on this earth their source of uh, food was uh, uh, basically uh, carbon based sources but uh, with the passage of time they evolved to consume or they utilize the sun's energy and uh, uh, other compounds such as sulfides to survive and thrive on this planet uh, one of the very distinct species of bacteria they are called cyanobacteria they evolved in such a way that they were able to uh, do photosynthesis to perform photosynthesis and they were the first organisms to uh, uh, to perform the photosynthesis due to which the oxygen uh, was produced and that oxygen uh, actually changed the whole ecosystem environment and that resulted in the uh, origin of Uh, this diverse uh, you can say biodiversity so with the uh, because of this uh, uh, cyanobacteria the oxygen was released in the environment and now the environment has sufficient oxygen to support those uh, biodiverse organisms which uh, lives on this uh, oxygen uh, they, these are all the evolutionary changes which take place in the prokaryotes uh, the example you want to if if you want to see that prokaryotes these are the bacteria some of the examples of prokaryotes and uh, uh, some of the uh, bacteria with the flagella you can see uh, in this photographs 
Now flagella, as you are aware, we will study in, uh, uh, in uh, other uh, unit lectures that uh, this is the very important uh, locomotory organs that help them to move from one place to the other place um, in the aquatic environment.